Well, hello YouTube. How are you today? This is Kitecraft, also known as Budcraft. Uh, so why am I talking to you? This is weird, and you're looking at a big green mat. Why aren't you guys watching another Dirt 3 video, you're asking yourselves? Well, I wanted to show you uh, what's going on here. I just got back from the store, my favorite store. It's called Memory Express. Uh, it's where I buy all my computer hardware. And I just took a trip there, got back. Uh, I want to show you what I got. Remember, uh, you might remember a couple of weeks ago I had a video there for a thermal cha thermal take chaser MK1 case I just bought. Um, so that was phase one, step one. Now I've got the new guts of it. I want to show it off to you. Here we have, I'm going to start off with the brains. Right there. Look at that bad boy. That is an Intel i7 3930K unlocked hex core hyper threaded CPU. Holy cow! Hex core hyper threaded CPU. Look at this bad boy right there. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that. Just flip it over. You can see the back side of it. Oh! Wow! Hyper threaded hex core unlocked, ready to be overclocked. Oh wow! How happy am I? What else do we got here? Well, we got a, uh, oh yeah, well, I picked up a new fan. I'll put that one on the roof of the of the case, um, get more airflow inside. So there's a new fan, blue, just like the other one. Um, so what am I putting this, mother, uh, this chip into, you're asking? What is the motherboard? Well, da -da -da -da, the Asus P9X79 Pro, baby. Uh, we're talking about 8 DIMM design, that's right, full dual quad channel RAM, supports up to a full 64 gigabytes of RAM, 8 DIMMs, USB 3.0 boost, built in overclocking the new Digi uh, CPU stuff, and the TPU, and the EPU, and the XPU, and I don't know what all the CPUs in there, but there's a bunch of them. That is just a beautiful bad boy. We got some... Uh, stuff in here, the hard uh, slide, soft slide, no motherboard. Well, I'll show you this bad boy right here. Ugh. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Underneath there, if we pull off these stickers, there's four M's. What's over here? Oh, there's another four DIMMs. Wow. I've never had a CPU or a motherboard like this. I don't think anybody has. This thing is amazing. Look at those beautiful heat sinks. There's a heat pipe coming around here. Look at all of those capacitors, man. They're freaking everywhere on here. Wow. The USB header. Uh, USB headers. We've got fan headers, power. SSD caching, still not sure I'm going to use that, uh, SATA 3, 6 gigs, SATA 3 gigs, look at this shiny metal, isn't that just beautiful? Um, I was going to buy the Corsair H80 closed loop liquid cooling for the CPU, I was really looking forward to it, it was on sale by like 40 bucks off. For $69.99, so I was going to buy it, it seemed like a really good deal. Then at the last minute, I changed my mind. Um, the guy actually mentioned something to me. He said, you know, um, if it leaks, it voids the warranty on all the parts. And I, I bought, I was going to buy the, and I did buy the in-store replacement for two years. So anything goes wrong, I just take it back, get a new one. Um, no big deal at all. Uh, except if it had leaked, and I figured, okay, well, I don't really want to to take the risk of it pissing on my uh, motherboard. So I did not get the Corsair H80. Instead, what did I get? Well, I went for uh, the Thermaltake TPC812. Um, you know, the Corsair H80, it's kind of cool to have the liquid cooling, but really there's nothing to look at inside the box and whatnot. Whereas this thing, you know, it totally reminds me of, you know, back in the, in the late 60s, you had the chargers. You know, you had those big chromed air filters and uh, intake sticking out of the hood. Well, that's exactly what we're dealing with here, baby. Look at this gorgeous piece of steel. Oh, man, with that thing... St yes, this is my uh, hobby room. I deal with electronics, microelectronics, and all sorts of stuff. So, 
Look at this bad boy. I mean, look at how shiny and gorgeous and those heat pipes. <gasps> heat pipes. What's that look like underneath there? Nice and shiny and smooth. And, oh, baby, baby. What's that? That's the fan. Yeah. Isn't that just a piece of work? So that's going to be sitting in the box. I mean, wow, that looks better than the HAD any day. Um, okay, what's next? Oh, look at this. So, the other thing I was going to buy was I was going to buy the Corsair Dominator Platinum Ram. Um, that's the Ram that looks awesome. You know, the absolutely best looking Ram ever made anywhere. It's got the uh, Wicked heatsink and the LED bars. Um, and then I noticed these Vengeance, and I was comparing the Vengeance and the Dominators, and all I could conclude was that they were the same RAM, but the Dominator has, you know, the awesomeness in it, whereas this is just kind of boring old uh, heatsink and covers. These are 60 bucks less than the Dominators. The Dominators were, what, $169.99? This was $109.99, so basically $60 bucks less. And I decided, you know what, that's a much better deal. It's a good price. I'll go with this. This is a 16 gigabytes of 1866 RAM, uh, DDR3. Look at those beautiful things just sitting there, you know. That's it. That's a, a, a quad channel kit right there. 16 gigabytes of awesomeness. That's the Corsair. $60 less than the Dominator and while I was sitting there I was looking at this I figured you know what that's sixty dollars less than the Dominator which I guess means if I spend an extra seventy dollars um, yes that's right two of them for a total of thirty two gigabytes of high speed awesome RAM yes thirty two blah Haha, <laughs> Skyrim. Oh, you're going to load so fast now, man. It's going to be bang, bang, bang. Okay, so that's the RAM. Uh, what else we got here? What else did I pick up? Some other goodies that I got. Oh, yeah, just uh, another 2 terabyte Barracuda drive. Every time I build a system, i got to put a new drive in. Otherwise, i got no place to build out the new operating systems, move stuff over. Pain in the ass. So there's that. But this is not the primary drive. No, sir, way. That is the primary drive. That is, I got the box right here, an Intel 520 series 180 gigabyte solid state drive. Look at that. So that'll be the boot drive for Windows and all the games will be on there. 32 gigabytes of RAM, motherboard from like the Ultra Dimension, you got the big uh, gorgeous heatsink. Um, where's my chip? Oh, there's the chip. Don't lose the chip. That would be bad. Unless, of course, I confuse that chip with the Arduino, then I'll just have a putt-putt computer. High-speed computer, putt-putt computer. 12 threads, one thread. 3.3 megahertz, gigahertz, upgradable to 4.3 with the overclocking. Uh, I think that's 16 megahertz. I don't know how to program that, but I know how to program that. Anyways, so that's the awesomeness that's going on in my hobby room tonight. So won't be seeing me on dirt for a couple of days. But once I get this system back up and running and shoved into the new case and powered on, uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more game videos from me. Way more than just Dirt 3. I'll be able to record anything I want now. BF3, Skyrim. So I'll be having some fun. Um, I'm just going to come back and just, you know... Closing shot on the gorgeousness of this fluid silver board with all those dim slots, with all this RAM to go in, all those dim slots. Oh. And then, of course, you're going to have this monster right there. Whoops. Oh, isn't that just going to be something, eh? Wow. All right, uh, I'll talk to you all later. Uh, might be a day or two or three. Then I'll post another video of the final uh, machine before I plug it in. And then you won't hear from me for a while. Bye now.